Hi, welcome to the first of my series on algebra. Today we'll be discussing the concepts of algebra. Let us first begin with the proper way of counting. If I were given the task to count an assortment of fruits, the first thing I would do I would group the fruits according to their similar characteristics. That is, I would put the apples together and the bananas together. Where are you going? Now I can count the fruits. This would be three apples plus two bananas. Note carefully, I can add, only add, those things that share the same characteristics together. Let us now discuss the idea of algebraic modeling. Recall when we counted the assortment of fruits, we had three apples plus two bananas. But what if we were to replace the word apples with a picture of an apple and the word bananas with a picture of a banana. Then we could have this. This is a form of algebraic modeling because we use symbols to represent the fruits. But what if we were to replace the apple, the picture of the apple with a letter A and the picture of the banana with a letter B? Then we would have this, 3a plus 2b. This too is another form of algebraic modeling. But what if we had two erasers and five rulers? Can we model this? Then we can use one of the erasers to represent one eraser and one of the rulers to represent one ruler. So we have this. But what if we replace the eraser with the letter E and the ruler with the letter R? Then we can have this 2E plus 5R. But can we use any other variables? Yes, we could have used any other variable. If I were to use X to represent the eraser and Y to represent one ruler, then we would have had 2X plus 5Y. Now that we have laid the foundation, we can discuss three important terms used in algebra, namely variables, coefficients and constants. Here are examples of variables. Letters of the English alphabet and sometimes we use letters of some other alphabet like letters of the Greek alphabet. So we can conclude that variables are letters of the alphabet. But variables can also be symbols, like these. So now we can define what variables are. Variables are a combination of letters of the alphabet or symbols. Now let's turn our attention to coefficients. What is a coefficient? A coefficient is just the number before the variable. For example, if I had 3a, the number before a is 3. So 3 is the coefficient. Similarly, if I had 5xy, then the number before the xy term is 5. So 5 is the coefficient. Extending the argument, 
if I had 7x squared, then the coefficient of x squared would be 7. Now, let us look at constants. A constant is a term that is independent of any variable. That is, there is no variable attached to the number. That, let me give you an example. Suppose if I had 2x squared minus 5. Well, the term that is independent of any variable is minus 5. And so, minus 5 is the constant. Here's another example. If we had 2x plus y plus 7, the only term here that is independent of any variable is the number 7. So, 7 would be the constant. Finally, we can turn our attention to some algebraic conventions. Let's start off with x. x is understood to mean 1 times x or simply 1x. Similarly, y is understood to mean 1 times y or 1y. But usually we omit the 1 because it's understood. So we just say 1y is equivalent to y. Let us turn our attention to some addition convention. Remember we have discussed before, addition can only take place if you are, if you are adding numbers or variables of the same characteristics. So that if we had x plus x plus x, they all share the same characteristics. And so we can have the sum of these variables by simply adding the coefficients. Remember the coefficients here are invisible. So we have 1x plus 1x plus 1x. So that would give me 3 times x or 3x. Similarly, if I had 2xy plus 5xy, both numbers share the same characteristics. In other words, they are from the same family. So to add these, we simply add the coefficients. So we would add 2 plus 5. And 2xy plus 5xy would therefore give me 7xy. But what if you had a case with x plus y? Do they share the same characteristics? And the answer is no. X and Y are two completely different variables. They do not share the same characteristics. They are not families. And so therefore, X plus Y is written as X plus Y. Now let us turn our attention to some multiplication conventions. The first one we have seen before. 3 times X is equivalent to 3X. And x times y is equal to xy. But suppose if we had a multiplied by itself four times. Well, this is just simply written as a to the power of 4. Whenever a variable is multiplied by itself n amount of time, then that would be equivalent to the variable written to the amount of times it's multiplied by itself. Let us say we had this. Here we have a combination of numbers and variables. The product of all this, we multiply the 7 by the 3 first 
and follow the previous rules. So we'd have this is equal to 21 x squared. Y to the power of 4. Thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next video where we'll be discussing grouping like terms. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.